Welcome back everyone to our channel. You know, it feels like the AI race just hit hyperspeed and Google is absolutely flooring the accelerator. In just the last few weeks, they've dropped a series of bombshells. We're talking a fundamental fix for AI's memory problem, brand new models built for the masses, and a growth surge so fast it's reportedly sent their biggest rival into a full-on code red. So let's break down what is happening. So let's dive right in. You gotta understand, this isn't just a random list of product updates. No, this is a calculated strategic offensive in the AI war. And we're seeing moves that could literally reshape everything from how we work to how we get our news. The pace is just accelerating like crazy, and it has profound implications for all of us. First up, we need to talk about the foundational tech, the real nuts and bolts. Google is tackling one of AI's oldest and most frustrating problems. It's absolutely terrible memory. And believe me, this is the key that unlocks everything else we're about to see. Okay, so the core issue with today's most powerful AI models, these things called transformers, is what's called the context window. Just think of it as the AI's short-term memory. As you feed it more and more information, like a long document or a complex conversation, the computational cost just skyrockets. And eventually, it starts forgetting what you even talked about at the beginning. This has been a massive, massive bottleneck, really limiting what AI can truly do with large amounts of information. But Google's new approach with their Titans model? It's a total game changer. It's a hybrid system. So it keeps the powerful short-term memory of a transformer, but then bolts on a separate long-term memory. And the truly revolutionary part is that it learns and updates while you're using it. It actually decides what's important enough to remember based on how surprising the information is. This is a massive leap from current models, which are, you know, essentially frozen in time after their initial training. And the result of this new architecture is just staggering. We are talking about a context window of over 2 million tokens. Now to put that in perspective, that's like feeding an entire novel to the AI and having it remember every single detail from chapter one to the very last page. This relatively small model is now outperforming giants like GPT-4 on tasks that need that long-term memory, proving that a smarter memory system can be way more important than just raw size. And Titans is really just the start. Google also introduced something called Mirage. Now, think of this less as a single model and more like a new philosophy, a roadmap, a blueprint for building the next generation of AI that can learn continuously and actively, almost like a person does, instead of just chewing through mountains of static data. So with AI getting a much better memory, what's the next logical step? Well, you give it more to do, right? While Google is solving the memory problem, another group, OpenAI, is tackling the action problem. Their new model, Lux, represents a huge leap from an AI that just chats with you to an AI that can actually use your computer for you. And I mean really use it. Lux doesn't rely on special developer APIs or anything like that. No, it literally looks at your screen, reads the user interface, and outputs clicks, scrolls, and key presses, just like a person would. It's designed to operate pretty much everything, from web browsers to spreadsheets. And it's incredibly versatile. It has three distinct modes. Actor mode is for simple direct commands, like, hey, fill out this contact form. Thinker mode is for bigger goals, like, find the best deals on flights to Tokyo next month, where it has to figure out all the steps itself. And then tasker mode is for complex, precise workflows that you've defined, like, process these 100 invoices according to these specific rules. And the results are, well, they're stunning. On a benchmark called Mind2Web, which tests AI on real, messy, unpredictable websites, you know, the kind we all use every day, Lux just dominates. It's not even a close race. This shows that Lux is fundamentally better at understanding and navigating the chaotic digital world that humans use, not just some clean, sterile lab environment. So, how did it get so good? What's the secret sauce? Well, Lux was trained through something called agentic active pre-training. Basically, it learned by actually doing things inside thousands of simulated computer environments. It built an intuition for how interfaces work through direct interaction, not just by reading about them secondhand. Now, these technical leaps are incredible. They really are. But they're all fueling an even bigger story. The fierce, high-stakes battle for market dominance and the next billion users. This is where the lab meets the real world, and it is getting intense. Google's strategy here is classic, really. They are focused on creating smaller, highly efficient models, like their Gemini Flash series. And the goal is super simple, deliver near pro-level performance at a fraction of the cost. This is the key to scaling AI to billions of users, making it cheap enough to integrate into every single product and service you can think of. 
And that strategy, well, it appears to be working. Take a look at this data. Between August and November, while ChatGPT's massive user base grew by about 6%, Google's Gemini grew by 30%. That is five times faster. The momentum is clearly, clearly shifting. And it's not just about getting the users, it's about keeping them hooked. The daily time spent in the Gemini app has skyrocketed by 120% since March, while ChatGPT's engagement has stayed relatively flat. A big driver for this seems to be features like image generation, which are proving to be incredibly popular, especially with a younger audience. And this growth is having a very real impact. According to reports, this momentum from Google actually prompted OpenAI CEO Sam Altman to call a code red, telling his team they need to accelerate development immediately. I mean, when your competitor starts growing five times faster than you, you react. But as this race accelerates and AI gets deployed at this massive scale, we're also getting a glimpse of the unintended consequences. Let's look at a pretty strange experiment that went very, very wrong. So recently, Google began quietly testing AI rewritten headlines in its Discover feed, and the results have been alarming. For example, a PC Gamer article about a completely harmless in-game glitch was twisted by the AI into this deeply disturbing and totally false accusation. The nuance in the original context were just completely erased. Here's another one. Ars Technica's headline clearly states a price has not been announced. The AI rewrites it to say the exact opposite, creating a factually incorrect headline. The AI isn't just summarizing here, it is changing the fundamental meaning of the news. And the core issue here, you guessed it, is trust. Because the AI-generated label is often hidden, it looks like the news outlet itself wrote the misleading headline. This has created this massive rift between publishers and Google, because newsrooms fear their hard-earned credibility is being damaged by some unpredictable algorithm. So, okay, let's tie this all together. Let's zoom out for a second. What have we seen? We've seen that AI's core memory problem is actually being solved, which is going to enable models that are far more capable. At the same time, AI is evolving from just a chatbot into a real tool that can do complex work. And this is all fueling an intense competition for users. But deploying these systems at scale is already showing us some really serious risks to things like trust and factual accuracy. This isn't science fiction. This isn't some far-off future. This is the pace of AI development right now. We have foundational breakthroughs, powerful new agents, and high-stakes market battles all unfolding at the same time, with real-world consequences. It really leaves us with one critical question. Are we ready for what's coming next? Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe Nexalith AI.